What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Men need to stop worrying about another man's looks. Men need to stop worrying about another man's looks. But uh, before I get to that, um, oh, if somebody wants me to get to it right away, just click off the video. I do shit on my own time. Anyway, uh, before I get to that, uh, today was leg day, man. It's the first time in uh, decades I actually squatted. Does anybody ever seen a full body shot of me? No, uh, I look like I do leg day like four days a week. <laughs> like my legs were always like strong, strong. I mean, so that was never a priority. So I never, um, I didn't really get into uh, what's my call it. What's in my buddy with a crazy self? Hold on. Hey, Wendy. What's up, girl? Hey. Yeah, that's my girl with her, like, Amazon sale. <laughs> anyway, right? Hey, check it out, though. But, um, yeah, it's the first time in a long time. And I just did 135. I worked up to it. Uh, just a, a word of advice for anybody who hasn't done anything. Don't go in the gym. if you expect, Even if you've done it before in life, start out with the bar. Make sure that you got your... Uh, form down right and form is extremely important form is extremely important because that's how people be getting hurt in the gym and be having pec tears and ligament torn and all that stuff because they ain't doing the form right so anyway that was the commercial but men be getting too too much into another man's looks you know i constantly get questions privately and I know I know it's coming from people affiliated with that incel community. And they be like, well, what about this man that looks like this? Or they be rating other men's looks. I mean, you got like channels right here on YouTube. Not necessarily in this particular sector, but channels that all they got is videos. And they showing some mod, male model or something. And, you know, outside of being suspect to me, I'm like, dude, why are you worried about what another man looked like? Okay, fine. You know, he look good to you. One, it don't matter unless you're gay. If seriously, it don't matter. You might can look at him and, you know, say, yeah, you're a good looking guy, no homo. But at the end of the day, what does it matter if you think it? Now, if you're concerned about, you think that dude getting all the women? Well, first of all, and I've done numerous videos on this, and I've even had women tell me this. They say they can look at a guy, think he look good, and then keep it moving. That don't mean he turns them on. And I'm talking like mainly the face. Like one of the reasons I emphasize the body uh, so much for guys who are really trying to get a woman. Because women are so-so with faces. I've known women who rejected men. Like personally known them. They'll reject a man if they think he looked too good. Because most women don't want a guy who looks better than them. You know? But most if they think he look good. Like if a man is really average looking honestly. He'll be all right getting a woman as long as he hits the gym and dresses well and act like he got some sense, can have a hold of conversation. But seriously, some of these guys, man, you really got to stop. You really got to stop doing that. Because one, they don't do anything for you. It's like, uh, it's like this saying, you know, they always say the grass is greener on the other side, but I saw a meme and it was correct. It said instead of worrying about the grass being greener on the side, water your own damn lawn. Like, get your shit together, because a lot of times, and this will get into that whole select, non-select thing. A lot of guys look good to women, but don't think so, because they're comparing themselves to some other man. They're like, well, I don't look like Idris Yourself, but I don't look like Brad Pitt. I don't look like Boris Cujo. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to look like who you are. Like, one thing Cousin Tito talks about, he talks about a man having a signature. You got to work on what's unique about you. And no, every woman ain't going to like it and every woman ain't supposed to like it. Like, I get cats on my, uh, sometimes and they'll talk about they slept with 300 women, 400 women, 500 women. Okay, but there's 4 billion women in the world for every one that somebody, who, okay, say somebody legitimately slept with 500 women that he didn't have to pay for. I might do a video on that. Um... For every one he slept with, there's 100 women who don't find that dude attractive. 
in the world. In five, in four billion women in the world, somebody don't find that dude attractive. Does that dude worry about that, or does he focus on the women who find him attractive? You know, or do you worry about, or if you that guy, you jealous of that guy who's getting the five hundred women, and you looking at him like, oh, I wish I looked like him, or I had a sight or bill. Well, shit. You don't know what the circumstances are because that same woman, let's put it like this. You get some women who obviously like that guy, they slept with him, right? But you might get the same women that rejected that guy find you attractive. And I see that shit happen all the time. I see that shit. There's a lot of women who will reject some guy or say, eh, but then some other guy they going crazy over. And I've seen, I've seen so many examples of this always and usually what the women find attractive is going to be a reflection of you know not so much not, uh, overall her own taste but those own tastes are shaped by her imprint her DNA the guys in her uh, culture class whole bunch of other little shit you know um, there's been some conversation about the octane models a, a man is going. A man is going to be a, a attractive to a 92 octane, but might not be attracted to an 85 octane, because even looks is cultural. I mean, any any psychologist will tell you. Some some idiots try to say that uh, it's objective and it looks the same all over the world. Um, test it out. Put one. Put um, take one of those fashion models and put them um, in an Eskimo village, or take one of those fashion models and put them. Uh, with some indigenous tribe in the South Pacific and see if the people go crazy over it. And they probably won't because they got their own beauty standards. In fact, this uh, makeup artist, <laughs> BGS, BGS know who I'm talking about. You know, I'm about to resolve that thing with her. But she said it, she, she had said this, uh, I think she said, what number she gave? It was over 100, I can't remember the exact number, but she talked, she was an expert in beauty. She said there's over 100 some beauty cultures in the world, really probably more. You know, there's different standards. Shoot, even, shoot, you can find some inter in internet listing stuff like on BuzzFeed or something about that. Like, believe it or not, in most of the non-Western world, six-pack abs ain't a big thing. Or even, um, shoot, if you, if, even if you extend beyond the face, in many countries, if you got some weight on you, shoot, you the man, you sexy as shit. Seriously. So, and even in, um, really, I can tell you what, there's a big difference. Even in uh, Western culture, the class and culture makes a big difference on who a woman's going to find physically attractive. Like, there's a, like, where I live, I have, I live in an interesting area. Just using some uh, white folks. I live in an interesting area. You got some, those rich, preppy type of white boys, but you also got those, uh, like uh, uh, I'll be nice trailer park type white boys too interesting area <laughs> got a mansion but if you drive maybe a good two miles away you got a trailer park all of them converge at the grocery store that I'm going to now and you see a difference it's a difference in the look whereas the preppy white boys might be clean shaven well dressed you don't see any visible tats you might get the more uh, trailer park type of dudes. You know, they're going to have that short buzz cut. You know, that little shortcut beard. And then you split that off into some of the redneck type of, type of castle long beard. You know. You know, tats all over the body. Got a certain rough edge to them. Look like they'll fuck your ass up. You know, as they come out the store with their black woman and uh, half, half, half black child. <laughs> yeah. But seriously, but it's going to be two different things according to see two different types of women going to see them as attractive. So there's a lot. There's a lot that dudes should be focused on a bit more instead of some of the normal bullshit. You know, because that's part of the thing. People think some shit's universal. And my point with all that is don't worry about Worry about where you are and your lane you know you just fix up to be the best you can be and then people who's, who likes it there's a certain type of woman that likes my ass right 
Yeah, I know some women, I, you know, it kills me. I don't even pay attention when some men say something, but some women, you know, some women going to come on here and say, yeah, Ron, you jacked up looking. I'm like, okay, I know not to mess with you. Then some other women like, oh, you're very attractive. But in this some I'm going to do tomorrow, there's I already, I already profile who's going to find me attractive and who ain't. So I just, I focus my efforts. I don't lose sleep over whatever. But that's because I'm focused on my own shit. I ain't worried about the next man. The next man don't mean shit to me. I'm like, you go do your thing, dog. I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> shit. I ain't worried about how you look. And see, dudes got to stop that shit. Focus on your own shit, man. Just look. Walk out the house knowing that you present your best self. You know? Or figure out what work for you. You know, figure out which look that you have. Does the facial hair work for you? Clean shaving? Ball head fade? Shoot, locks? Tats? Figure out what work for you and go with it. Like with me, tats might work with me. But I always say my scars are my tats. So every scar I got on me, that's my tattoo. But anyway, stop worrying about another man's looks, man. That's just stupid, man. Because first of all, on a practical level, the universe don't care. <laughs> on a practical level, what's somebody going to do? Oh, I feel bad for you, baby. You don't look like this fashion model. Let me give you something. No, if a woman don't like how you look, she just don't like how you look. Nobody gives a fuck. Seriously, nobody gives a fuck. The only person going to give a fuck is you. And see, you could spend your time worrying about that other man, or you could spend your time working on making your life the best thing it can do. And even if you you really want to get pussy that badly, just figure it. I'll, I'll, I'll get into that tomorrow. It's kind of, pussy is kind of easy to get, really, if you think about it. It's easy as hell for anybody. It's yeah, easy as hell, trust me. Because I told my, because uh, I already told my private folks this, and now they come, my private people, they already coming back to me with like, <laughs> Their problem is managing the women now. <laughs> because it's easy as fuck. Hell. Let me go ahead now and holler at somebody. Shit. Sure. Anyway. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and blessings.